today we are going to discuss about cam profile at the end of this video you will be able to draw displacement diagram and cam profile for flat face follower with uniform velocity and offset distance so let's see the description draw the profile of a cam operating a flat face follower from the following data follower leaps through 40 mm that means stroke length ascent angle the follower remains at rest means dwell period then descends that means it is descent angle the follower remains at rest that means remaining dwell period the least radius of the cam is 50 mm so that is the radius of the base circle the motion during ascent and descent is uniform velocity the axis of the follower is offset by 20 mm from the axis of the camshaft so offset distance is given to you so you have to draw the offset circle and so that you have to draw the tangent lines so this is the description and from that i have written the important points in the summarized form so let's start the displacement diagram so first draw the horizontal line with random length then take the height as follower stroke so it is 40 mm then once again draw the horizontal line now take the scale so here you can say 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degree and so that the length of the outstroke will be 6 centimeter then next 12 so that the length of this 12 is 3 centimeter then next return stroke so it is 6 centimeter and next remaining dwell as 210 so the length of the remaining dwell is 21 centimeter but you can't accommodate it in your sketchbook so you can use this symbol now divide the outstroke into the six equal parts and give the name as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and draw the vertical line passing through all these points similarly divide this return stroke into the six equal parts and give the name as 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash up to 6 dash and draw the vertical lines passing through all these points now here uniform velocity is given to you for both outstroke and return stroke so you have to draw the straight inclined line for the outstroke and keep in mind that for the dwell it is always horizontal then for the return stroke once again it is straight inclined line and for the remaining dwell it must be horizontal line now mark the intersection point and give the name as a b c d e f similarly for the return stroke mark the intersection point and give the name as g h i j k l so this is your displacement diagram so keep in mind that in the examination you have to draw only this four line as dark line the remaining work should be light now start the cam profile so first take any point randomly and give the name as o now the minimum cam radius is given to you as 50 mm so draw the circle with 50 mm as radius that is called as the base circle next offset distance is given to you as 20 mm so draw offset circle with center o and radius equal to 20 mm and draw the center vertical line tangent to this offset circle then you can show this flat face follower symbol over here now mark this intersection point as 0 join this 0 to O with straight line now here the direction of the cam rotation is not given to you so you can assume it in clockwise direction and so that your angles must be opposite to this direction means anti-clockwise direction from this reference line so for 60 degree 
then 30 degree then 60 degree and so that automatically your remaining angle will be 210 degree now divide this outstroke into the six equal parts so each division must be 10 degree with the help of the protector now give the name as 1 2 3 4 5 6 as you have given in the displacement diagram for outstroke similarly divide the written stroke into the six equal parts with the help of the protector and give the name as 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash up to 6 dash as you have given in the displacement diagram for written stroke now next keep in mind that when your offset distance is given to you you have to draw the tangent line to this offset circle so i am going to draw the tangent line to this offset circle simultaneously lines must pass through these all points similarly you can do for the return stone that means draw the tangent lines to this offset circle and simultaneously must pass through this 0 dash 1 dash up to 6 dash now transfer this distance 1a on this tangent line next transfer 2b distance with the help of the protector on this tangent corresponding lines similarly 3c next 4d next 5e next 6f similarly you can do for the written straw that means transfer this 0 dash g then 1 dash h then 2 dash i then 3 dash j then 4 dash k and at last 5 dash l now flat face follower is given to you so you have to follow one more step through the lines which are perpendicular to this tangent line and simultaneously they must pass through this a b c d e f g h i j k l so it is like that And keep in mind that this distance from both sides must be equal and that is generally one centimeter on both sides. Similarly, you can do for the written stroke. So this extra work is only for the flat face follower. If it is knife face follower, then it is not required to draw these extra blue lines now draw the smooth curve which will be tangent to these all blue lines and then from 6 dash to 0 you can use with the help of the compass so don't waste the time for pre and sketch from 6 dash to 0 but instead of that you can use the compass so this is your cam profile if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video